Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I'm going to make a sunshine that can be used as a pendant, a sun catcher or earrings. It's inspired by my peacock feather tutorial. What you're going to need for this project are seed beads, a larger round bead for the middle, a round form or a ring cone, 22 gauge wire and your tools. I improved the peacock feather tutorial to add beads around the outside. It looks really nice and whimsical. So all that I did was I took the loops that I had made, I opened them up, I stuck on a little seed bead and then closed them up. And I'll link up the tutorial for the peacock feather below. So for the sun we're going to take two longer pieces that are about 8 inches and two shorter ones that are about 4 inches. We're going to crisscross these and then we're going to twist them. So we're going to go one, two, three. And we want these ones to end on the outside and then we're going to separate these. Add another wire, one more wire there. And then we're going to twist again, always having the two long ones going up. So now we're going to go one, two, three. Make sure those go up. With the tail end, we're going to wind it around to the back so it holds in place. And these two you can separate and we can twist these ones. So we'll have these ones sticking up and they won't be too, too wobbly. So now we're going to push that one up. Two long ones still go up. Take another short one, crisscross like that, and then go one, two, three. Make sure the short ones stay up. Split these again. Take this tail wire and bring it in between those wires. Again, add another wire, twist, twist, twist. Make sure they stay up. Take the tail wire and bend it around again. Now you can add more than that or you can keep it about this big. We'll just take the round form, hold the end and just curve it around. You can use a marker as well. It's just to get the shape sort of right. What we can do from there is just bend the longer one down, bend the shorter one straight up, and then take these two ends and twist it around. So we're just going to take the ends, twist them around. So we'll just clip those leftover ends and then this we can make a loop to hang it up. Take some round pliers or looping pliers. You could make a double ring if you want to make it more solid. And then take the end and wind it around a couple of times so it's secured in place. And then you're going to clip that. Spread these out as you need them. Now you're going to have this longer piece here. So what you can do with this longer piece is you can add a bead. We'll take this bead and just stick it on here and you can just leave it on here if you want but if there's too much space you can wind the wire around a little bit. So just hold it so it's centered. Take this wire and just wind it around. This will keep it centered in the sun and however much wire you have you can keep winding it around. You can even add more wire if you want more wire around the outside. So from there we're just going to take it down to where the center point of the bead is, bend it down and then we can attach it down here. So flip it around, take your tweezer nose pliers and then just gently bend this around so it doesn't get too distorted. So just bring it all the way around. This is 22 gauge wire so it is a little bit fragile. So now you've got your bead suspended in the middle and then we want to just pull these out like the sun rays. And if you have too many wires just take your cutters and clip one off. 
On this sample, I actually made them quite long and I spiraled them. I'm going to show you how to do the spirals first. If you're doing the spirals, just take your round pliers, bend it around so that loop is closed, bring it in, and then you can get your thumb and your finger to wind it in. So you could do it like that with spirals. And if you want for the plain wire one, you could just get the cone and you can make a kind of a spiral thing. Push it in, bring this one in a little bit more, and then you can put the spiral inside there. You would just have to like bend that one down, bring this end inside, hold it in place, wind this around the base here a couple of times, clip it, and this end too, you just have to wind it inside the loop, grab it with the pliers, bring it to the back and clip it. And there you have the sun with the spiral inside. Or we can take this one and just trim the edges. So we can do some long, some short, like say an inch, a little more. Yeah. So once you have that, you can add beads to the ends. So just take the round pliers, bring that one around about like that. Take your seed bead, slide it on there, and then you want to close that up. If it's easier, use the tweezer nose pliers and you want to just close up that hole. So now we're going to go around and do the other one. So once you have all the beads on the end, you can leave them out like that. If the wire is soft, use 20 gauge or use brass wire. And at this point, if you want to give it a little bit of movement, you can just take your round pliers and you can just bend these back and forth. If it's easier, just use your small round pliers and just bend back and forth and back and keep going around like that. So you can see there's a lot of possibility for this project with the beads or without the beads and you could make the rays any kind of shape that you like. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.